This is Getting On With Life, Pastoral Wisdom for Successful Christian Living. I'm Chris Field, and this lesson is about Enemies Defeated. You may think you have various enemies in life, including people who oppose you in some way or other. You may even feel some of your family members or work associates are enemies. The Bible reveals three main enemies you need to have defeated for your eternal good. The first enemy mankind encountered was the devil when he came to Eve in the Garden of Eden through the serpent, tempting Eve to sin against God. The last book of the Bible confirms who that is. In Revelation 12 verse 9 it says, The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads astray the whole world. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. The second great enemy is sin. When Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, they came under the power of sin. Sin rules in the hearts of mankind, so that people who want to do good can't. In Romans chapter 7 verse 14 it says, We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. So natural mankind must deal with Satan and with the power of sin. But there is a third terrible enemy, which the Bible refers to as the last enemy. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 25 and 26, it says, Jesus must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. So our third great enemy is death. Whatever issues you think you are having with problem people around you, or even governments or institutions that are at war with you in any way, your real enemies are Satan, sin, and death. Satan is determined to bring you under the power of sin and keep you from connecting with God. Sin is the power you were born under, thanks to all mankind being sold to sin by the actions of Adam. And death is the penalty of sin. And death is not just the passing away from this life, but eternal separation from God. We earn death by our sin, as if we've been working for it. In Romans chapter 6 verse 23 it says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Each of these three enemies has been defeated. Although they are fighting against and controlling you, it is not up to you to defeat them, because you wouldn't be able to anyway. Christ has done the fighting for you and defeated each one. Jesus defeated the devil. In Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 it says, Since the children were made of flesh and blood, Jesus likewise took the same form, so that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil. Jesus paid the price for our sin. Through Christ we are able to come free from the control of sin, so it does not rule over us any more. In Romans chapter 6 verse 14 it says, Sin will no longer have dominion over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. And Christ defeated death, as proved by his resurrection. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 20 and 21 it says, Christ was truly raised from death, the first fruit from the grave. Since death came through a man, that's Adam, resurrection of the dead comes also through a man, and that's Jesus. Jesus healed various people during his ministry time on earth, but those people were not resurrected, but revived. They came back to life, but still under the power of death, so they would die once more. Those who are resurrected are free from death. Death has no more sting or control over them, because their new body is unable to die. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 55 it says, O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? Note that we could not defeat Satan, but since Christ has already defeated him, those who put their faith in Christ can resist the devil and make him flee. That's recorded in James chapter 4 verse 7 where it says, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We could not defeat sin, since it ruled our hearts and lives. But now, sin has no more authority over us. We see that in Romans chapter 6 verse 14. Sin will no longer have dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. 
We cannot defeat or cheat death. It is one of the certainties in life. But we can be raised from the dead with a resurrection body that will never die. We see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 43 and 44. Your body is sown in dishonor and raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. As believers in Christ, those who have received him, you have no need to ever be afraid of the devil, but resist him and he will flee. You never need to fear sin, for it doesn't have the power to rule over you. With every temptation, God makes a way of escape for you. And you never need to fear death. Your body will eventually pass away, but it will be raised immortal when Christ returns. There are no more terrifying enemies, since Christ has set you free from each of them. Praise His name. Be sure you put your faith in Christ as your Savior and Lord, and are a child of God, so you will enjoy these wonderful victories. God bless you.